Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to present you this product. It's a smart relay switch that you can control via Wi-Fi. The product name is Shelly Plus One and I want to use this product to make my electric gate a smart gate. Today I can only access the gate via this remote control so in order to open and close it I'm using this button but I want to be able to do it via my smartphone so that's why I bought this smart relay switch. This is how the box looks like as you can see it's very small. We have a picture with the product and this is it basically here we have some specifications of the product and let's see what we have inside. So we have some user manuals. Okay. Yeah, it's an user manual. And here we have another user manual, I think. Yeah. And uh, this is the product. Wow, it's very, very small. So the box is empty. Let's put this aside. And this is the product. Oh, it's very small. Look, my hand. And look how small it is. So here we have the main connectors. And here we have a button to enable the pairing mode and I think also to reset the device. I don't know for sure, I need to read the manual. But again, it is very, very small. So what I'm going to do in order to make my gate a smart gate, I need to power this device. So I'm going to use these two connectors here. I need two cables like this one. This is a 0 0.75 cable. As you can see, it has two wires. So I need two cables, let's say half a meter of cable is enough in order to make two patches, two cables. One cable will be connected to the power supply of the gate and will come in these two connectors. So we have the neutral and the line, yeah? And for these cables, you need to respect the colors of the cables. It's very important. So neutral with neutral, line with line. And another short cable, the same cable, with two wires, okay, that I'm going to use to connect this device with these two ports, I and O, to the main uh, motor control unit. In the control unit, in my case, I have a BFD motor. I have a special port that allows me to do exactly this, to send a signal to the gate, and in that moment, the gate will open or the gate will close. Now I'm going to the gate. I'm going to create two small cables and I'm going to show you how this device is working. Okay guys, so this is the gate and this is the motor I have. As I told you, it's a BFT motor. It's not a smart one, but I'm going to make it smart now. So let's use the Shelly device to make this BFT motor a smart motor. In order to connect the device to the gate, in my case, I need to take these two screws out and to lift the cover. So now I'm going to need my both hands in order to lift the cover, but it's very easy. And very important, don't forget to cut the power off. So stop the power of the motor and then you should start working on it. Okay guys, so this is the motor. The model in my case it's a BFT Deimos BTA400 okay and this is how the control unit looks like as I told you I created two cables one to control the the unit and to send the impulse to the unit and the other one is this one Okay, and I connected it to the power supply of the gate. As you can see, this is the main power supply of the gate. I have these two thick wires here coming from the main electrical control unit of the house. And I connected this wire in the same place. Now I'm going to connect these two wires to my Shelly device. 
Okay guys, so right now the device is connected. As I told you, the first two connectors are for power supply and these two connectors are for connecting the device to the gate control unit. In my case, is this pin here, is this black connector, ports number 60 and 61. And I don't know if you see here, you have uh, uh, open and start. But the black one is. You need to read your uh, motor manual in order to identify which one is it. Okay, so what we need to do now is to power on the motor again and to open the application to connect the device to the application. So the application is called Shelly Smart Control. You can download it via Google Play. Let's open it. And you just press other device. Of course, you need to create an account first. You need an email address in order to create the account. Okay, let's add a new device. Let's add it via Bluetooth. Yes. Allow. Next. Okay, and as you can see, the device is already here. I just need to click on it and press next. And this is my Wi-Fi network. Please keep in mind that it's only working with 2.4 gigahertz networks. Okay, so I need to enter the password now and to connect to the network. I added the password. Now we click on add device. And now the device should be added in the application. Let's wait a bit. Okay, let's give it a name. Let's call it It's a car gate. Okay, you can put a picture, but I'm not going to put a picture. Let's create a new room. Okay, I named the room. Save. Okay guys, so as you can see, the device was added into the application. If you press on the device, here you have a list of options. You have settings and you can play with uh, a lot of settings. What we are interested in is input-output settings. Here you need to set the device to button mode in order to operate as a button for the gate. So choose button and on the relay type I selected this one set Sherry device to be in detached switch mode and here I selected to remember the last position when the power cuts off and that's it so save uh, I don't have to save it because, it because it was like that and here you have other options I don't know what they do. I don't want to play right now with all these settings. There is one more setting you need to do. You go here to the timer and in order to act as a button you need to set auto off and you need to set it to 0 0.5 seconds. So 0 0.5. So basically when you press the button on the application it will stay on for 0 0.5 seconds send the power to the gate the gate will open but then after 0 0.5 seconds the application will cut the power to the device if you want to open the gate again you need to press the button on the application again so let's do save and that's it and now let's try it so as you can see this is the button you need to press this button here in order to open the gate. Let's see if it's working. And as you can see, the gate is opening. If you want to stop the gate, okay, I just press the button and the gate stopped in the position it was when I pressed the button. And now if I want to close the gate, I just press the button again 
and now as you can see the gate is closing so it's very simple the application works very well so let's open it again I press the button and now the gate is opening Okay, and now I'm going to press again the button so it's very sunny outside. Okay, now it's done. And now I'm going to press again the button. And now the gate is going back. And now it's done okay guys so this is the device right now I need to stick it here somewhere inside I'll take some tape to stick it and I hope that this will last for more than one or two years I don't know how it will behave during winter but we'll see guys if you like this video please subscribe and hit the like button thanks